I have a clog in my uh, any cubic. I have to tear apart the extruder head. This is the second the second time I've had to tear this uh, the assembly apart to get clog uh, PLA out of there. Yeah, so I took it off the uh, took it off the printer. I have it right here. I'm gonna start disassembling it. I'm gonna remove the nozzle. Got to pull a fan out. He just had to tear it apart. So. Here I go. So first things first, I'm gonna take the two, uh -oh, two uh, screws off here to remove the plastic covering. Hopefully no more uh, bumps with this thing. Here we go. All right, you need to unplug the wires in here and disconnect them from, and disconnect them from the assembly. We'll get to this point here where you um, have the uh, unit disassembled and pulled away from the cover and the fan. And now you have to start disassembling oh, the extruder. The extruder. Uh, you won't have to pull the sensor. That should be just fine. It's all wired up right here. That'll all be good. But you have to pull the box here. I'm gonna have to pull the box here so you can expose the uh, filament where it comes in here, and you'll be able to get to the clog. So let me continue with that. All right. So I clearly see where the clog is. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Uh, it's not. Oh, there it is. You can see uh, the PLA stuck in there. I looked, I was gonna take the other assembly apart where the fan is, um, but let me get this turned around. Come on. Okay, but I looked through this side here and the, uh, the hose is clear. So I didn't have to pull that apart and pull anything out of the hose area, so I'll leave that alone. I should have took the uh, nozzle off before I disassemble this. Always best to do that first. Um, the nozzle is going to be clogged, of course, and uh, I'll have to pull the PLA out of here once I uh, get the nozzle off. So uh, here I go. All right, so I uh, I pulled out the nozzle. It's really kind of a pain. I Last time I took it off while the uh, extruder was all assembled, and it seemed a little easier, although uh, it wasn't too bad. It, it was pretty tight uh, and loaded with a lot of gunk, so I'm going to uh, get to that filament and pull that out next, so here we go. Okay, so what I did at this point was, instead of taking apart the heating element and pulling that out I was able just to take a um, small allen key put it in there I'm trying to do this with one hand and I was able to um, push that uh, the clog out it was piece of PLA was what was causing all the problems it was stuck in there right you can see it burnt a little bit on the end it was stuck right at the top of that heating element and wouldn't let any um, PLA through so I mean it's not a terrible process I mean it takes a little time you know maybe 25 minutes of your time pull it apart and then put it back together take care of the clog this is the, the second time this has happened to me over the last week though I this seems to be notorious with uh, any cubic machines I don't I don't know why they clog like this I don't know too much about printing I just got into this I've been a CNC machinist my whole life so to me this is really kind of like second nature uh, it didn't, didn't take me long to figure things out and I'm not afraid to go in and just take care of problems myself so I just went ahead and um, did what I had to do, you know, took it apart and, um, you know, a little bit of my time, you know, I was working on uh, some other stuff today, but this had to get done, so basically that's it, I mean, that, that's how you um, take the uh, any cubic Cobra 2 apart to get at the clogs, you know, um, basically, 
look into um, the hose end. Come on. I don't want to break any wires here, but you know, look into your hose end, you know, right up in here in this hole. Make sure there's no clogs in the hole. As you can see, you clear right to the tube. It was, you have, sometimes you have to pull. Last time I had to pull uh, some clog material out of there also, along with uh, this end right above the uh, heating element there. So uh, I'll put it back together and, and get it going. All right, folks, take care. Okay, at this point, just put your heating element back on with those two, uh, these two uh, little bolts right here. Make sure that you know you have your um, nozzle back in there securely and your heating element on. Don't break any of those wires, and that would be terrible. Um, and then we're just going to reconnect everything that I disconnected the first time and put the box back on and going to hook it up to the printer and give her a shot. So here we go. All right, so she's back together. Now I'm going to put her back on the printer and uh, see how things go. All right, so I remounted it to the uh, gantry. I just have to hook up that hose, uh, plug it back in, throw some filament in there, and give it a run. So now I am printing again. I got a flat wire clamp printing in there as a test room. Clamps always come in handy, so why not a uh, real quick and easy process just to check out that the, uh, the extruder is working properly, the PLA, PLA is flowing through, and it sure is, so everything is good. About a half hour, you know, to get it stripped down, get the clog out, and 10 15 minutes get it set back up and running. But that's it. If you have a Cobra 2 and you have a clog, have that, and it's not that hard to unclog.